All right, y'all. Me, KK, the kid back there. Um, S10 body drop, part 15, the grand finale. You excited? It's finally done? Yes, it's not really done yet, but uh, it will be done by the end of this video. I already shot an intro and showed some stuff, but I said, um, about 47 times and I hated it. So I'm just gonna shoot y'all new. We are headed to uh, the other side of town. Just giving me them ugly looks. Cause he can't drive. Yeah. I'm in my lane. What do you want me to do? Yes. That's, this thing is built for power. 6.2 liters though, listen. No, quick. <laughs> you don't need to let me drive. All right. So, oh, it smoked. Why'd it smoke? Did you blow it up? Because you were driving. <laughs> anyway, we're headed around here to uh, Mr. Joseph Nudie's shop. He got my dash pin stripe. We gonna go see this thing. He ain't sent me no pictures. He just kind of told me, I kind of told him what I wanted. And he's one of those guys, you just turn him loose on it. You don't, you don't try to tell him what to do. He knows what to do. So we're gonna run by the bank real quick, grab some money to pay him and we get this thing and try to get it back in the truck tonight. Uh, hook all the air conditioner vents up. Mount the uh, the vintage air. I had a brain fart there. Mount the vintage air to the bottom of the dash. Get all the gauges hooked up. Let's see what else. The radio. Uh, Bubby's still build, building your stereo system. We haven't got that done yet. So we're not going to worry about wiring that up at the moment. Yeah, well. That's enough talking. Let me go out there and uh, show y'all what an old-time hot rod shop looks like. He's got a sweet 51 shop top merch. I'll show y'all here in just a minute. Oh, I like it. No me too. Mr. Joe knows how to kill him. Okay. So he knows how to kill it. Oh. All right, well, I'm going to uh, show y'all his car right here a little bit before we go. What is it? It's 32? Yeah, 32. 32. Got a chassis here. Got a beetle on the other side. She's still trying to hide from the camera for whatever reason. <laughs> Got the junior ratchet body and the junior ratchet chassis. Yeah, they didn't have a motor on the other day, did it? Uh-uh. Come right along with that. Didn't have the pedals in it. I'm letting my grandson do all that. How old's your grandson? Eight and 12. Eight and 12. Nice and tougher. Pinstripe their boxes. For. Is that who's eating with you lunch Saturday? Yeah. Okay. All right, this is a 51 Merc? Yep. And that was your dad's? That was my dad's, yeah. Last car before he passed. So uh, he told me the other day when he was over here, they finished his car on, like, what, a Tuesday? Yeah. At like 10:30 at in the morning, bleeding the brakes, and got in and drove it to the Grand Canyon and back. So, yeah, yeah, that. And we're in South Georgia; it's a long way to the Grand Canyon. Yeah, yeah. So sweet old car. Said he was gonna do some ghost flames on it, but his wife told him no, so he done some pinstripe flames on it. But got a '70 Nova front clip in it. What what rear ends in it? It's got a '70 Nova front clip and a '70 Nova rear end. Okay. Get in and drive it anywhere. That's right. Got one of these old old school dinosaur big blocks sitting right here. So, got old Beetle over there. Like I said, the junior dragster. We're gonna grab his dash and go to the house and get this thing put in. Yeah, so me and Chandler's out here and the kid. And uh I'm turning a pile of scrap metal into something hold on all right so i'm building me some inner fenders and uh, i've got all my metal cut and when i get done this is what it'll look like already got the passenger side one built and uh it's just super simple uh a little bit of bead rolling um a lot of welding and uh yeah kind of con follows the contour of the tire around on the edge and i didn't want to drop the edge down too low that it got into the way when i was trying to turn so i left it up kind of high um uh, just bolts on with uh i think i got three sheet metal screws holding it on and it don't flop it's tight covers up uh covers up the top of the wheel real good uh i'm gonna get this one uh welded out and get them in i'll show you what it looks like what you doing kid I'm just, just riding around that's a hazard i had to ride that thing yeah you'll be hit a... all them dang zip ties you cut yeah. the tab. all right and then uh i got out here yesterday and uh, built me some bumper brackets to bolt on. And they are, look like they're pretty stout. Uh, we'll find out as soon as we drag it. Oh. And uh, I painted it uh, flat black. This is the same paint that I put on the frame. And uh, let me show you what Chandler's doing there. 
So this is my original front bumper. It was actually glossy black, but I didn't want to paint that gloss black because it would be too shiny. So uh, you see this one's, the paint's all peeled away. You see the primer under it. It's rusted here. And uh, yeah, it matches the rest of the truck, all the rust and everything. So Chandler is going to try to uh, sand through this with like some 180 or 80, whatever he ends up using. And we're going to try to create some patina. Sand through to some primer, do some, a couple bare metal spots, spray some vinegar or hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, water yeah. Let's we'll spray something on it, or spray it with a water hose. It'll start rusting immediately if it's like yeah. as humid as it is down here. Lemon but juice, anything is it. Yeah. So he's gonna work on that, and uh, if we don't like it, we can just scuff it and spray it again. Yeah. That's the beauty of this yep. being a beater. So he's uh he's gonna sand like that's what it's taped for. He's gonna sand here, here, there. Long spot over there, and then we might get us a Reagan 84 bumper sticker to put on there or something. Chandler told me a while ago I got a Bonneville Salt Flat sticker that when, when me and Charlie went to Bonneville, it would be cool. and it would be cool on there, but unfortunately this truck doesn't look anything like a Bonneville racer. <laughs> so we're going to dig through this stash. Uh, let, me, let me just show you all what I mean when I say stash. This is probably like one-tenth of the stickers that I have, and they are everywhere. South of Heaven Tattoo, that's in uh, Key West. I got my I got my arm piece done there. Still got a sticker from that place. I've got all kinds of stuff. There it is. Hey, look at there. I actually pulled it out. Headed to Bonneville. Me and Charlie Driggers went out there in 2015 or 16 on the way to California. Yeah, that one. And we have got stickers. Yeah. Woohoo! Sickness video. Shout out Red and Ryan. One day they're gonna shoot one of our trucks for a video. That's right. And it's gonna flop. Wait, what what do you got right here? Uh lower than you. Nah. That one's black, that's that one man. King Twitch clothing. There's a pile of stickers in here. Modified show. Wow, that's an old one. Let down a pair. Alright, I just drug way too many of those out. Yeah. So there's shout out Walker Frank. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Golden Gate State or Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco. You got that sticker out there. Oh, man, there's so many stickers. Uh, we'll we'll dig through this stash or the stash inside, find something to go on there. Something will fit. So. Oh, that's old school dropping wire right there. Thirty years strong. Uh, my, it's the 30th anniversary of Mini Nats. It is. That might be the sticker right there. Yeah. Had you said they're doing a flannel shoot? Uh-uh. If you got a if you got a drop and wear flannel shirt, they're all going to get together Saturday at two o'clock at Mini Nats at the drop and wear trailer and take a picture of everybody. They're getting those Dixon flannels. Yeah. I got the snap on ones, but not another. Our okay services. That's Chase. Uh, he makes big truck parts. My other ride is on air. This ride is on air, so we can't use that one. There it is. Rust is a color. <laughs> Man, there's so many good stickers in here. Let's see what else we got. Life begins at zero psi. Uh, crescendo. I haven't run their stuff in a long time. All right, I'm gonna quit digging through here. Y'all tired of watching? Let's shout out Walker Frank again. Right. Another day. It's Tuesday. Uh, last night we got some stuff done. Um, we got this bumper done. I give Chandler an idea and he run with it. I told him I wanted to patina it like I told y'all earlier in the video. He come in, sanded it, made it look pretty good. Uh, I had some hydrogen peroxide and uh, I stopped and got some vinegar and I've got some salt. And uh, we watched a YouTube video on how to make metal rust insanely fast. And that's what the guy did. He took that stuff, mixed it up in a cup, took a rag, wiped it on. It rusted like immediately. So uh, I'm going to try that in just a minute. But first, uh, I just got my I got my fender sprayed last night. got them done. Going to spray the bed liner. And uh, I painted the back side of them black and the bottom of them black. And then I had the bed liner left over. So I sprayed them. Well, that junk didn't stick. But luckily, that's up against the fender where you can't see it. The fronts, where you can see, looks outstanding. So uh, I'm about to bolt these guys in. Show you what they look like once we get, uh, get them both under the hood. And uh, then we'll pull it out there and start um, making the bumper rust. 
I'm kind of waiting on KK to get home from work. She uh, she wanted to see that. So I'm going to drag around and do this. And also, uh, Brandon number two went to the junkyard today. He got me some, some new uh, seal plates to hold the carpet in. If you, uh, if you noticed, they're not there. And I haven't painted the door jam yet, obviously, where I've done the floor repair. Whenever we paint the truck, we'll do that. I'm not worried about it. But um, the seal plates that hold the carpet in right here, uh, mine, none of the screws would come out. So I ended up having to drill them out. And I broke them. And uh, he got me two mint ones at the junkyard today. So uh, we're going to get those thrown in. We've also got the uh, kick panel plates that's got to be trimmed and go back in. Uh, but I'm kind of waiting on the dash to go in first, and then we'll do that. And the dog has my shoe. Give me that. Come here. Rolling. Come here. There's your gloves. Come stand right here. Come on. Look, there's the camera. Look at it. She's camera shy all of a sudden for whatever reason. All right, so uh, me and Chandler watched a YouTube video last night on how to make metal rust fast. Because I don't want to spend the next 20, 30 years waiting on this bumper to rust. So uh, we got all-purpose vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and some salt out of the house, but she wouldn't let me bring the salt shaker out here. Uh, and we're gonna wipe this on. And if it works like it did in that dude's video, it'll be rusty in about, what, 15 seconds? It was like 30 seconds. Oh, and I bought some paper towels. Cause I didn't know if we had any in the house or not. I ain't gonna say them. When, usually when she buys paper towels, she buys like an entire Esclave full at the time at Sam's. So it takes a while to run out. And then when we do run out, it's like an emergency. You ready? Yeah. All right. Have you mix it in that cup? Yes, I've already mixed it. It looks like water. There you go. Hey, water. tell me what it smells like. Yeah, I'm good. It smells like salt and vinegar potato chips. It really does. Here, smell a vision. Let them smell it. He said smell a vision. <laughs> All right, you ready, bud? Come here. Don't drink this, dog. You might die. I just dunk it in there. Mm-hmm. And then wipe it on the bare metal spots. The bare metal spots? Yeah, see all everywhere you sanded through? Move, mate. Come on. You're going, you ate cat poop. It's not working as fast as that dude's did. He must have sped the video up because I don't see no rust yet. Move, mate. Mate, move. Dookie mouth. <laughs> she just licked you in the face. About did. <laughs> Maybe my mix ratio wasn't strong enough. It needs more uh, muriatic acid. Rust. Why is it not rusting? Oh, actually, it is. Look. There, yep, there it Look goes. Look at this. Look, mate. We should put a bunch on there. Yeah, I globbed it on her. Here. It is rusting. Nice. Don't lick it. Go on. I really hope it runs some trails of rust down it, yeah. too. That would be awesome. And I keep wiping it away on this end. Let me just leave it alone. I don't know how that's going to handle bed liner, so I'm going to throw that over here. Yeah, check that out. That dude literally wiped a piece of shiny metal, and within like I'm telling you, 30 seconds, it was already rusting. And, I mean, it's been about two minutes for us, but at least it's working. Now we just drive it because, well, we're pretty much done minus the parts I don't have yet. This dog is determined to get it all over her. <laughs> oh, she just wiped it all off with her tail. Hey, go on now. Go, go, get. Oh, she smells like cheeseburger you had a while ago. I ain't ate yet, so I don't know what she smelled that, bro. That was for lunch. <laughs> I did have one for lunch. I'm hungry. I think they get the point. Yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be just fine. So we'll come back in about 30 minutes mm -hmm. and see what it looks like. And uh, we got this dash ready to put back in last night. And we figured out I have a problem. So the vintage air kit comes with two different size ductworks. Um, I believe 
this is two and a half and this is two inch i haven't measured it but i believe that's what size it is uh okay so if you notice how long this piece is and then how long this piece is clearly you can tell which one is supposed to do the ac vents and which size is supposed to do the duct work for the heater the problem is this fits the defrost vents and this fits the ac vents i could order some yes wait apparently a week two weeks for it to get here because i had a side mirror that was supposed to be in here tuesday it's now thursday and fedex keeps delaying it so i'm losing a lot of trust in my shipping but i'm trying to get straight together anyway long story short so i went to uh bob's do it best this morning here in town try to find something that would work and i found some two two inch two inch and a half couplers so my plan for this is i also found a piece of pvc pipe that i'm hoping i can make fit in there all right so the shorter smaller one needs to go to the ductwork so this will fit over this pipe and then I'm going to put this over there, and then I'm going to put this on the defroster vent here on the back side. Uh, I'm going to do two of those, and that way I can run the short piece of hose to the defroster. This, like I said, is two and a half, I believe, and all my AC vents are two inch, so it just goes over them. Uh, so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to get some hose clamps, and I'm going to stick it over, and I'm going to hose clamp it really tight. That way it doesn't blow off. Uh, besides ordering new duct work now let me let me throw this out there it takes two and a half to fit the vintage air vents on the box the two inch fits the defrost vents on the box so they have to be this size they just don't fit my ducts if that makes sense i'm trying i'm, I'm way over complicating this trying to explain it so basically the stuff that needs the vents that need this are smaller. The vents that need this are bigger. So I'm about to make that work, and I'll show you. All right, y'all, here's what I come up with. Uh, my couplers work. Got a little piece of PVC in there. Got got these on real tight with some hose clamps, all, all of them. That's hose clamped on. You can see how much it had to pull it down right there. We got those hose clamped on, all three of them. And uh, I've got this uh, harness here that plugs in to the radio. Uh, I've got to hook up uh, power and the ground for that whenever we get to that point. Uh, uh, I keep saying, uh, I'm sorry. But we're planning on driving this up to help Rance this weekend. So I need to potentially wire this up because it's two hours each way. And then I've got some speakers over there. I'm just probably going to throw in the floor until I get my stereo hook done. And that way, uh, at least I'll have some music. So. If we can get KK rounded up out right here, see if we can get this thing slid in there without without skinning it up too bad. If we can drop the steering column and probably take the shift handle off just to get that stuff out of the way. And I already just rounded up all my bolts for the dash. So we're going to see if we can get this thing slid in there real quick. All right, y'all. We out here. Still fighting with this dash. Been on it all night long. Um, finally got it fitting. So I cut the new gauge cluster. We, we mocked it up with an old one that was you know didn't matter. And we went to put it in the side mount that holds this gauge in was hitting so we had to do some grinding on that inside the truck got the dash in and uh look killer um so dan and him was over here digging around in the parts stash trying to find something to do and they found some parts that this gentleman sent me which is david lanier uh s10 hardware uh down in florida uh he sent me a hat and he sent me these grills and what these grills do is they go if you got a first gen S10, there's a black plastic grill that goes right here. Oh, yeah. Um, and these are known to break. Um, actually, this truck's probably got the only set I've ever had that wasn't broke, and we'll replace them. And so these uh, these are cut out of stainless. They look good. Dan didn't know I hadn't filmed yet, so he didn't put, put this one in. But he uh, he didn't put he didn't know it comes with screws, so it comes with stainless screws too. So he's about to swap that out. And uh, I appreciate that, David. And if y'all need some, want to set, I think he sells them for about $75 a set. And they look awesome. And they look awesome. It would look really good if this door jam was actually clean and painted. But 
It's not. So, hold that up there. Let, let us see your modeling face. Yeah. So, if you want to see it, hit him up. Uh, find him on uh, Facebook. His name is, uh, like I say, David Lanier. Um, and there's a phone number if you want to hit him up or an email. Cool dude. Uh, he's got a mini trucking logo on his Facebook profile, so you'll know that's him. Appreciate that, David. About to throw them guys in and keep on rocking. Dawson doing uh, new door seals because we're going to drive. Me and, me and Dan's going to ride in this Durantis, uh in a couple days, and we don't want to listen to wind the whole way there. We just got all the duct work hooked up for the AC. Let's see if I can get this glove box down and show you what a nightmare that was. Oh, hang on. There we go. Yeah, there is hoses and wires. I'm glad I'm trying to keep a glove box. But I do still got my lunch tray here so I can sit in the truck and eat lunch. Y'all check this out, man. Mr. Joe killed it. And the AC and heat works good. We're trying to get these uh, knob stickers on here so we can get this mounted up. It's going to mount right here to the bottom of the dash. We got some wires for the radio hanging down. Got a USB port in here. We put that where the original key switch was. And then Dan made this slick little cover because there was like five or six holes in there. And, uh, yeah. Did you get it? What about you? You waiting on me to move? Oh. All right. I got to go. Uh, out here in the yard working right now. I uh, got a little upgrade that should have been done like a week and a half ago, but FedEx decided to not deliver my package for a week. The original glass fell out of my um, mirror, my side mirror on the driver's side. The first day we got it back together. We drove to town, got out of Village Pizza, shut the door, the glass fell out and busted. So I ordered some of these. They come off of Amazon. Bought a pair of them. They're Cool View brand. They were like $34 on, on uh, Amazon for the pair. Or car part, I think, is actually where these come from, not Amazon. Super cheap. Uh, I don't know what they're going to look like in six months, but they do look just like the original. So we've got sticking dudes in. And KK's on. I'm going to get these things stuck on where I can actually see who's behind me and I don't have to turn all the way around in my seat. Super cheap. Super, you know, super needed upgrade. So, these guys. Uh, today's Thursday. It's like the 28th of March. We've got a few weeks for me to that. I think three weeks. And, um, well, we got rained out today at work. So, I am headed to McCarty's, the junkyard, to get some parts. I called uh, earlier this week. We drove that truck up there to help Rance last weekend, and I put this gigantic steering wheel in it, and it's just a handful. Um, and I love the steering wheel. I'm not getting rid of it. Uh, that truck is manual steering. It came from the factory and it's manual steering. And uh, called Junkyard. They have everything to convert it to power steering. Um, I Supposedly. Um, we're on the way to find out. But supposedly uh, they have the pump, all the brackets, uh, everything. Uh, hoses and a steering box. So they've got everything to convert this thing to power steering, which um, was Kaylee's really only complaint with that truck. She, she used to drive it a bunch. And she didn't like the manual steering. It's kind of hard to drive, but uh, we're going we're gonna to see if we can get all this stuff and get it swapped over. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a C notch to do today. Uh, like I say, today's Thursday. So once I get the notch done, then I got this afternoon and tomorrow to work on my truck i got to do some some more stuff to it uh, got to fix the exhaust uh it's sagging in one spot the hangers aren't holding it where they need to be they're letting it kind of move down and i need to get that fixed i need to get the steering wheel situation fixed the blinker switch and give me a couple days there to get all that stuff figured out i've still got to pull the manifold off i'm gonna get it cerakoted and what else Oh, and it's supposed to go to Bubby next Wednesday for the stereo install. So I want to try to get all this stuff done now before I take it to him. That way, I don't know how long it's going to take him. So that way, once I get it back, I'll, uh, you know, uh, I'll be, be on the short roads with it. So, all right, we're going to go see if this uh, $100 power steering setup is legit. All right, so I got my power steering set up from the junkyard this morning off a of square body 2.5. Got the steering box with the two output lines got the power steering pump and on these it has a divorced uh reservoir so this mounts to the motor and then this mounts it, this actually mounted on the factory clutch fan the what you call it 
the shroud. There you go. There's the word I was looking for. This mounts to the shroud on this bracket. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to mount it yet, uh, so I didn't paint this bracket yet. But I went ahead and just painted all that black. Uh, of course, the frame is flat black. This stuff is gloss black. Um, uh, this isn't really a wear item. I mean, I guess that hole could get wallered. Uh, so I'm going to leave that on there and try it. And if it's got some slop in it, I'll take the new one that's on there off and swap them. But I'm trying to think. The bracket that bolts this to the motor is laying right there beside the dog in the sun drying. And I guess she's helping it. So I just washed it, got done wire wheeling it, cleaning it up. Uh, it was covered in grease. And I'm going to paint that black and put it on the motor. And while that's drying after I paint it, I'm going to go ahead and hang this, take these lines loose, or this line loose. That way I don't have to fight with it. I'll probably take both of them loose. And the only other thing that I don't have is these. This, this line went to a cooler on the radiator and this line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up running this line to here and I'm going to bypass the cooler. Um, I don't know if I've ever had a truck with a power steering cooler, so I don't really see where it's that necessary. And I'm going to try it. And uh, if I have trouble with it, I'll go back and add a cooler. But for right now, I'm just going to bypass it, get rid of this hose, and then hook this one straight to it and go from there. And also, uh, I had a rattle noise and I got a punter here and the hanger that was here broke. Uh, it just had like a, where's that right there? It just had like a, one of those C-clamps that went around, but it actually broke the rubber part. So I just uh, got a new hanger, stuck it up there, welded it, welded it uh, around so that it can't twist because this was actually hanging way down. And also I found out I have a rear main seal leak, or not a rear main seal, but an output shaft seal leak. And there's a slinging fluid all over the brand new exhaust and all over the floor and everywhere. Uh, and this clamp was actually loose too, so I tightened it up. I'm gonna get a seal and put it in here. And uh, that should fix the exhaust. And this was actually, the way it was twisted, this was up against the bottom of the cab and it was making all kind of racket. So I've still got to pull this manifold off. Uh, I'm gonna get this power steering pump on and power steering set up on and then where I can crank it up, make sure everything's good. And then I'm gonna pull the manifold off and send that to Justin. And I've got my truck where I can just push it in the shop and get it out of the way until I get the manifold back. And I just got in it today. It's been sitting all week and it still had 190 pounds of air in the tank. So I can leave it aired up and it should be good. Everything else under the bottom looks good. Check all the bolts. Everything's still got cotter keys, nuts are tight. Everything looks good, so we're going we're gonna to roll on with it. All right, I got this uh, power steering pump set up on. Uh, Use the factory bracket. I just painted everything black. I had to extend this main suction hose, and the reservoir is just kind of sitting here right this minute. But I've got the bracket made to mount over here, but I had to paint it, so I had to pull it back off. And uh, it's, everything's on. It's not leaking. It's doing good. Uh, it, I'll be honest, it doesn't really feel much easier to turn than the manual steering. Um, I'm thinking that that steering wheel is dragging on that steering column enough that it's, it's making it kind of hard to turn. So uh, I'm fixing to pull that off in just a minute and look at it. And uh, while I'm waiting on paint to dry, when that bracket gets dry, I'm gonna stick all this back together and it'll be done again. And uh, go for a little test drive, see how it does. No, that's the bad one. All right, so we're we gonna uh, change this blinker switch. The I changed the, the arm, but it didn't fix the windshield wipers. So it was actually the switch that's in the column. And the clock spring was catching, so we're gonna go ahead and put one of those in. And we thought this was gonna be like a real fast, quick, easy job. Here we are on day two. And we finally just got this one apart. Yeah, well, we did work, we worked in the woods today, but uh, finally got this off. We gotta get this out and change it. This was bad. And we're gonna go ahead and put the new clock spring in. And no, I didn't get new ones. I got the ones out of the original column in there. See it right there. I already got it to a park uh, because, uh, well, they work perfect. So, all right. So, uh, it's bright and early on Saturday morning. Me and Dawson's out here. Um, pulled the exhaust manifold off because it looks terrible. That high temp paint does not hold up. So, I got some Cerakote. We'll drop that off to the adjuster this morning. And we got to go to Statesboro here in a little while because I done a customer's truck and forgot to put the gas door bolts back in it Stupid. and he took off and <laughs> then he sent me a snapchat later on and was like what's up with this bro and i was like damn so uh Oops. i'm gonna drive to him and put those screws back in 
Uh, but until this customer gets here to get this red truck right here, we're gonna just keep clicking away on this. And then as soon as he gets here to pick that up, we're gonna go. So uh, got the manifold off. And next up we have, um, let me get over here to him. I need to clean up instead of work. Uh, Amazon package. Uh, I thought it would say the brand on there. So I got some uh, Op 7 underglows. We like underglows right here. Yes. So uh, about to throw these guys on real quick. Get started mounting in. And uh, we'll go from there, show you how we mount. All right, so here's what we got. We got the green color underbody kit from Op 7. Uh, comes in a piece of PVC pipe. Yes, I know, but that's how it comes. Uh, this slot kit is different than the one on my Sierra. It's got the chase feature, so they'll chase each other around the truck, which I'll probably never turn on, but uh, for $20 more, I figured it was worth buying. Mm -hmm. So we got this fished over top of the frame. Uh, we don't like to mount them real low because we don't want to be able to see them through the fender well, so we're going to mount this right up to the bottom of the course port. And then this wire has to go over to this lot. So this one will be mounted up under here somewhere. We ain't, we ain't made it that far yet. And then this one... I'm assuming it runs back here and plugs in here. And this one fits perfectly inside the frame rail, so it's gonna be mounted something like that. And then that one has got a, oh, wait, hold on. That needs to be turned around on. Yeah. That needs to be turned around. We need the long wire back yeah. here. And then that's that, that's gonna mount the same as this side. So uh, we're gonna get all that wired up and then you have an extra wire here that goes to the inside to the control box. So we're gonna run that over and it's gonna go through the firewall right up let's see if you can see there i got a dang it's not it's blurry there's a grommet right here at the bottom of the firewall that's the drain tube for the ac uh yeah and then once we get inside we'll get it all wired up so yay, yay. happy fun saturday morning all right so uh dawson mocked all this up just hooked the ground and the negative up right there so we can test it make sure we had it right and this does the color chasing thing so it kind of <laughs> goes down the sides over here and uh go to the back and if you look at these lights they've got arrows on them shows you which direction the flow is supposed to be we did not notice that if you look right here you got an arrow going that way and an arrow going right that way so this is the origin one right here so every, oh, the color chain starts here and spreads out and it does the same at the back so uh we got lucky and mounted them right yeah good job op seven you made that foolproof for us even some idiots can install it all right y'all another day uh got my manifold back from getting it jet hot coated and uh just got it on i still got to put the collector bolts in down there they're right here i gotta put on a lift i got trucking away and pops is in here trying to get my steering collar back together and as you can tell it's quite the pain so, try to figure that out so we can get this thing back rolling it's supposed to go to bubby tomorrow for stereo and uh i just got that back a few minutes ago and uh just got a clock spring in today so or not the clock spring but the uh multifunction switch damn his head shiny all right so we got the manifold on just done a heat cycle on it uh let it get up the temperature cut it off and let it cool off do it again tomorrow i uh, got the exhaust hooked back up um after about i don't know 17 tries of getting this together we finally got it together where everything works windshield wipers um the blinkers and everything works like they're supposed to but the headlight rod is like binding on the steering column. And at this point in time, I'm not really worried about it. I'm just going to turn it on low beam and ride. Hello. On the table? On the table? Yeah. In the house? Yeah. wonder yeah. how that got there. I do wonder how that got there. How'd that get there? Don't ask me. Put, put, it, put it in my toolbox. I don't work. All right. Uh, Pop's going to come put this together for me. And uh, hopefully that's it on that let's go to stereo tomorrow uh, waiting to hear back from bubby make sure it's still gonna go and uh yeah fingers crossed because i don't really want to ride the mini nats with two six and a half between my seats like we did when we went to help rants what about you you don't really care do you you're gonna be on your phone anyway what the whole way to mini nats oh yeah all right see y'all later I'm about to pull up over here at Bubby's shop. He said my truck was ready. Uh, we're gonna run and check out what he did for his stereo. Send me some pictures of it. Looks looks pretty good. Um, super excited about it because the whole time I've had this truck, it had two little four and a half inch speakers in the dash or something like that, little old bitty speakers. And 
turn it wide open riding down the road and you can barely hear them so i'm kind of excited to have some noise out and uh what he did looks legit matches the truck perfect um but i'm trying to go mud bogging down that road that he lives on and not get my truck completely filthy which um appears to have not happened so well, I'll show y'all in just a minute what it looks like. All right, so uh, we made it to Bubby shop. He's over here finishing up now. Made me a new little friend. What's your name? Ari. Who? Ari. Ari? This is Bubby's kid. This is the baby girl? Mm-hmm. Uh, How old are you? Four. Four. And she's been hanging pretty tight with me since I got here. Bubby's putting some three and a halves under the dash. Got the sub in. Got a CT Sound five channel lamp here in the box. I'll get out here in just a second and show you the rest of it, but kind of large them in the way and blocking them here. Sounds good. I'm gonna let him tell you what we put in here. We got a CT Sounds uh, 800 by five. Um, we done one 10 inch uh, Pioneer flat sub behind the seat. And it's we done- It's behind her, but she won't let me move the seat. She's, she's <laughs> bossing me around today. And <laughs> we done six mid range uh, speakers. We done two six and a halfs on the top panels and we done uh four by tens on the lower panels and i done two three by fives up under the dash um and we got a rockford um radio from an actual side by side i believe somebody uh yeah they, they saw that whenever i put the dash in but uh we didn't really wire it up we just kind of put it in there so bubba could do his thing mm -hmm. So it's actually got six highs in here and one shallow mount sub right here. Uh, I'll, I'll pull the seat back out when I get to the house and show y'all. And then uh, on top of that, he built me some cup holders. Yep. So pick that up. Just a Georgia State Patrol tag. Put a couple cup holders in it. Kind of looks like a smiley face when you hold it up like that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, once I get the bench seat back in here, we're going to figure out where that needs to be. It'll be between the bench seat and the shifter somewhere screwed to the floor. And because uh, you got to have cup holders always because if i don't my kid's gonna spill a glass of tea on me on the way to meeting that well that and also holding it between your legs and shifting gears is not that yeah, fun. it's not that fun so uh we're about to get this thing loaded up get back to baxley so we can start cleaning it because well uh, we have six days from right now it's thursday and we're leaving next thursday morning so yep. and i still don't have a seat and i went and checked on that this morning and uh he hasn't even started on it and he's had it for like three months so i'm kind of stressing at the moment Yay. i gotta go and put the hood on and then clean it and then we got one last surprise. We'll be here Monday. Me and Chandler's gonna jump on that. Right, let's get out of here. Oh wait, I almost forgot. This dude got a YouTube channel. I'm gonna tag it in the link. Uh, Bub's Life. Y'all go check him out. He's a drag racer guy. Drag S10. Uh, Pro Charge six liter turbo wagon. Uh, big block C10 back there. There's a Nova. Uh, nitrous wagon. There's there's fast stuff everywhere out here. Y'all check him out. Uh, he's just getting started on his journey too. Or he's been doing it for a little while, but he ain't really. He ain't really, uh, oh, mama done snuck up on you there. You know your mom was here? Uh-uh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tag you his link. Y'all go check his page out. Give him a like and subscribe. All right, y'all. It's Saturday morning now. And this time next week, we'll be in Maggie Valley right now at the car show. Because it's about 9.15 in the morning. And I had to go to Riley's this morning. Get some stuff. About to change this output shaft seal. Just snatched the drive shaft out and realized I wasn't filming. So I figured I better stop. I uh, got the, uh, my buddy Ray at O'Reilly's, he got me some seals, uh, not before last, and they were too small. So I went back this morning, Mr. E got me some, uh, the right seal, I believe, about to try it, put it in. Uh, I'm going to put that seal in and clean all this fluid up that's up under here, because I don't, I don't want to have fluid everywhere. I spent all this time, you know, cleaning this thing and bed liner in it, and now there's junk everywhere. And, uh, get this cleaned up. Uh, we fixed, uh, I had a kink in the power steering, uh, suction hose last night. Uh, it wasn't completely closed up, but it was making a pump wine. We fixed that. And now it's time to start cleaning once I get this done. And, uh, we'll be ready to, ready to wash it. And then pull the wheels off, start polishing those. And then we got one more surprise coming up. And stuff will be here Tuesday for it. Sure. It's Saturday. Saturday before mini nats. Put my truck in the shop, turn AC on, we'll come on. All the free all leaked out because one of the fittings on the back of the AC compressor was stripped. And I can't get one before we leave, so we are on the way to Summit right now. Chandler's fault. Chandler, Chandler gassed the AC up, it's his fault. Hey, got a handful of nuts, dude. Y'all see my 
nuts. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're headed up here now to get this fitting. It's about three hours each way, so uh, about to turn and burn and go get AC fitting. One fitting. Two. Now we're headed back to Summit because uh, apparently four fat asses in the Impala makes the back There's tires rub. Back, back yeah. Makes the back tires <laughs> rub. So now we're in the Escalade. KK already filled it up, so we're good to go. Chandler and his question mark head was weighing us, or hey. weighing us down. <laughs> I, I can't remember the guy's username. He Is my you. head really shaped like a question mark? Chandler's head shaped like a question mark. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. It's we, funny. Need, we need answers now. But I've never heard that. That's, that's original. That's original. All right, well, see y'all. We made it. That's sweet. Police here. I want a road trip without food. Yeah. I'll bust. A hungry one. Yeah. Wish us luck. We're going to be miserable on that three hour ride home. Bag dodge. How about that? Okay. Second place. We need some today. Yeah, so the other one we couldn't get in. They was slightly busy. So we came on down the road. We're about so to try this, this one. This place has got a dolphin on the side. Yeah, so I've eaten here before. This place is fire. Hey, record this. Punch oh. fire. All right, so it's now 11 p.m. on a Saturday night. We just got back. Um, and uh, I had to go get this. And I also got an extra fitting because I'm not sure if the one I have is reusable or if I'm going to have to make the line. But, um... Yeah, that uh, that fitting got started, crossed and tightened, and uh, yeah, that's no bueno. So uh, we just spent the last seven hours driving to Atlanta and back, and stopping to get hibachi, you know, as you saw, to get this, and uh, about to throw that in, and see. Well, we're gonna we're gonna see if this will thread, the line will thread on the gear. And if it doesn't, then I'm just gonna stop and I'll go Monday and have a new line made and I'll be right with the world again, hopefully. So. All right, so I got the gauges on it uh, and got everything back together. Got it pulled down, it's holding about 30 negative inch pounds. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh, all right, y'all. Out here cleaning wheels right now, just spreading with acid. Saw that just a minute ago. Uh, getting them things cleaned up. Chandler's on the way with the uh, buffer to start buffing them and hopefully they'll shine up real good. They haven't been polishing like, I don't think I've ever polished them to be honest. I think I sprayed them with acid one time. How long is it gonna take you to polish them? Uh, about four days. We only got three though. I'm gonna clean mine in five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's buy billet wheels, they're amazing. All right, so we're gonna cut this video off here. Yeah. Uh, it is Sunday, today, Sunday and uh we're leaving thursday morning at 8 a.m so if you are in the southeast united states and you would like to cruise up to maggie valley with us for many nights and you're leaving thursday morning be in baxley georgia eight o'clock in the morning not not p.m in the morning we're gonna head out we got a decent little crowd going um if you are interested in really going with us you send me a message on facebook and we will link up with y'all anywhere between baxley georgia and maggie valley if uh, we ain't got to go out of the way, we will definitely get up with y'all. And if you're anywhere closer to the other side, um, like Statesboro, Savannah area. Da Dawson's area. coming from Statesboro. We're going to meet him probably in Dublin, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And uh, cruise on up. It's about six hours from here, so we can say about nine hours. <laughs> we're taking the toolbox with us. Uh, if we have breakdown, we're going to stop and fix it. A normal, you can go two ways. You can go 441 highway, which is kind of back roads, or you can go interstate. We're going to go back roads because if somebody does have issue, I would much rather fix it on the side of a four-lane road than a six-lane interstate. Yeah, I don't want to be laying on the side of the road by the interstate, people running 100. Yeah, I'm not trying to get run over. No, I don't want to die. So if, you are, uh, if you're down here and you want to go up with us, here's your warning. Here's your time, 8 a.m., Baxley, Georgia. Uh, send me a message on Facebook, Brandon Carter. Or Dawson Kennedy, one of us will get, we'll get you in there. Yeah. Also, I've got about 20 lower class fab t-shirts that I had left over from the last shirt order. I'm going to bring those with me. Uh, I'm not holding them for anybody. Random sizes. Random sizes. I think the smallest one I have is a large all the way up to like a 4X. If you want one, come get it. Uh, 25 bucks. Uh, I'm making about $3 a shirt right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, we, we, we got new shirt people this time to go around. Yeah. I had to pay out the ass last time. Uh okay let's see what else do i have to eat shirts what time we're leaving um that's about it, that's about it. 
Y'all pray for Rance because he really, 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 re really needs it. He really needs it. I think he's uh, spent his wad. Um, right. He's stressed out. And he's and losing hope. And it's Sunday and his truck doesn't run. Yeah. So uh, y'all send some uh, send some thoughts and prayers to him, some positive vibes. It doesn't just not run. It just nothing is fitting. Nothing is working. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when we said a year, 14 months ago, hey, we're going to build these mini trucks. Don't wait till the last minute. Guess who waited till the last Rance. minute. Rance. <laughs> Good job, Rance. We still love you. All right. Uh, what else? Is that it? Yeah, Clear everything up? I think that's it. Oh, yeah. We, each one of these trucks has still got more stuff getting done to it. We're not. None of us is done. Uh, let's tell. Hold on. We got to tell them the problems we had this week. So I had a power steering hose blow off. I had an AC fitting that was stripped out that decided it was going to blow its load. So we went to Summit yesterday. Y'all just saw that. Uh, that's three hours there, three hours back just to get a fitting yeah. so I could have air conditioning when we leave. Dawson had an issue with his seats. Yeah, I, I took them apart and they work fine. I put them back together. They don't want, one of them doesn't want to recline. The other one doesn't want to slide back and forth. That's not so. the problem I was talking about. Uh, the kitty cat got a hold oh, of his brand new, talk about that. got a hold of his brand new cat skin seat covered. He put them on one day and the next day they got clawed up. Yeah, it's just got a couple of holes. It ain't real bad. Yeah. Uh, Chandler, uh, the balancing weight on his drive shaft slung off. Yeah. It doesn't vibrate, so he's just going to YOLO it. Uh, Jeff blew out an airbag somehow. Mm -hmm. Put brand new airbags on it, and uh, he said it was rubbing laid out, and it caused a hole. Blowed out. He put an airbag in today. Rance has a whole list of problems. Who else? Brandon Yawn had a control arm bushing wore out. Yeah. He got that replaced. Got uh, getting tires put on this week. I still got to go get an alignment. Um, me and Chandler's got a couple more little things. We're not going to show y'all. Y'all can see it when we get to Maggie Valley. Uh, but it's going to definitely change the look of both the trucks. So. And we're going to put this. None of them are perfect. Yeah. Go ahead and nitpick them all. Yeah, y'all can but, nitpick them. We don't care. We, yeah, we, I don't care. Yeah, I just aceded those those wheels. I don't care. Yeah. Bed liner's not perfect. I, I didn't paint the truck. I missed spots in the primer. Um, oh, wait, hold on. I haven't uploaded the video of your truck yet. Oh. Yeah, Dawson's truck's not burgundy anymore. Yeah, it's not burgundy anymore. Oops. Oops, I let a cat out of the bag. Oops. Forgot it was in the background. Uh, Y'all saw Challenge Roof. That's it. Okay, we're going to get out of here. See y'all. Bye. See you in Maggie Valley. We're going to record going up and getting together and cruising up and uh, some of the show. But this is the last video till then. If you see us, hit us up. Say hey. Do um, not be scared to come up and talk to us. If we look like we don't know you, like you look retarded. Oh, yeah, no. That's yeah. just us. You can't say that word. Okay, special. That new generation don't like that word. I don't like it. Oh, well. No way. <laughs> We're 90s kids, 80s and 90s kids. We're still going to say it and call you gay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come up and holler at us. Uh, please don't be scared of us. Uh, we all just as friendly as we can be. And uh, we look forward to meeting y'all. See y'all when we get there. Bye.